Dallas police arrested an 18-year-old suspect in connection with the shooting death of a six-year-old girl in East Dallas. He's accused of leaving the gun used in the shooting unsecured and then trying to hide it when police arrived. Fox 4's Stephen Dial has more on the investigation. Stephen. According to court documents, they say that Sowles, the 18-year-old, allegedly admitted to placing a MAC-10 on top of a PlayStation we still do not know officially from Dallas police how the child was shot. Police arrived at a shooting call around 2.30 Wednesday at a town home on North Fitzhugh in East Dallas. Six-year-old Elena Ross had been shot and died at the hospital. I'm trying to not cry, actually, I'm not. I'm trying to hold it in, I'm shaking right now. Investigators at the scene said it was unknown how the child was shot, but also said there was an unsecured handgun in the home. On Thursday, Court documents revealed more about that. Police brought in 18-year-old Demaria Sowles as a witness to the shooting. During the interview, police say that he admitted to placing a MAC-10 on top of a PlayStation in the bedroom on the third floor Tuesday. After the shooting on Wednesday, investigators say he took the MAC-10, put it in a backpack with a Glock 40, and hid it in the garage of the home. Marquia Boyd told us her children played with the six-year-old victim in the past. It hurts. Because I have a seven-year-old, like, and I've seen the little girl, like, I be, when I do see them, like, going to school and stuff, that is sad. What appeared to be a bullet hole was seen on the third floor of the home between two windows. Police said there was one other adult in the home along with Sowles. But we are told the victim's mother was not there and that she was planning a funeral for another one of her children who was shot days before the new year. That child was also a young person, a teenager. While Boyd is shaken by the news of a six-year-old's death, she is trying to look at the bigger picture. God has the stronger power over all of this. It's the plan behind all of this. Now, aside from that tampering charge, Sowell's faced three outstanding warrants. Two were for evading arrest, the other for unlawful carry. Stephen Dow's outside Dallas Police Headquarters. Stephen, thanks.